quick demo of how to get this type of jellyfish ruffle. Um, here's the original blouse and this is like this real pretty jellyfish ruffle, real relaxed pretty ruffle. So these jellyfish ruffles are actually cut on a curve like this. This was my original ruffle here. And you can see the pattern piece is just straight with a bunch of gathering, and that just doesn't get you there. That's not what is needed for this particular look I need. So I'll show you real quick how to do this style of ruffle. So um, I had already worked out kind of how full I wanted this ruffle um, with, by using this one here. So the the length here in the sleeve where it gets sewn in is about 25 inches. So this this uh, ruffle here is about 38 inches. So I just increased it until I got the fullness I liked. So I'm going to keep that 38 inches and I'm going to show you how I got this ruffle here. So what I did was divide that 38 in 2 which gives you 19 so I'm increasing this to about 19 per quarter and then I'm taking this and I'm offset pattern outline and I'm doing 5 inches as the distance because I want this to be like a 5 inch ruffle here And then I go in and cut this out. And I can get rid of this. And then I'm going to use my internal polygon line here. And use it to create a line here so that I can get rid of the second half, cut it off, and delete that. And so then this is almost done, but what you're going to use is Eminem Free Sewing, and I'm sewing it into where I need it here. Enter, and then using this smaller inside edge of this pattern piece to go into the seam. That's what's going to be sewn into the seam. Enter. delete my other one. So, let me move this closer. Don't get a bunch of craziness going on. And then I'm going to go ahead and simulate. is how you create this jellyfish ruffle. So basically the smaller inside of the circle is what gets sewn in. So the outside is longer so it creates this nice ruffle. So that's that.